Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to walk you through step by step how to set up DeepSeek for Janter AI. Let's jump right in. First, you want to go to Janter AI and sign into your account. Then you want to enter a chat, either a new one or an existing one. I currently have an existing one here, so let me use this. And keep in mind, not all characters support proxies. And if you get an error at the top while setting it up, just switch to another character. Right. And once you're inside a chat, you want to tap the three lines at the top and then go to API settings, choose proxy and then add configuration. We want to complete the details right over here. And to do that, we want to head over to open router. From here, you want to log in to your account and search for deep seek. As you can see, I'm already here, but once uh, you search for deep seek, you want to look for one that is actually free. So there should be a free right beside the name of the model. So I'm currently here. And what we want from this model is to copy the name as this will serve as the configuration name. Copy this and go back to Janitor AI, then paste it right over here. Go back to Open Router and copy the model name. This is actually the model name. So click this icon, then head back to gender AI and paste it right over here. For the proxy URL, all you need to do is just go ahead and copy this one. This is from open router, so you can definitely use this. You can also pause the video to copy this, paste it here as your proxy URL. And now let's go ahead and generate your API key. key. To do this, you wanna go back to open router, Click this three lines right over here, choose keys, and then create API key. From here, let's give this key a name. For example, deep seek gen, gen test. There we go. You can also set a credit limit if you want, but let's just go ahead and create this. Once it's created, copy the key and remember, you'll only see it once, so save it somewhere safe, right? So let's go ahead and copy this, paste it right over here. And if you'd like, you can also add a custom prompt, but again, that's also optional. So let's go ahead and finish this. Once you're done, just go ahead and click add configuration and then save settings. And uh, if you see using proxy at the top, that means everything's set up correctly. You can go ahead and try chatting with your character. And if you run into a network error, just refresh the page or reopen the site and it should work fine. And that's it. You've now set up DeepSeek for Gender AI. And if this guide helped you out, don't forget to like and subscribe for more easy guides. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.